Hello, wax friends. I am Maggie, and welcome back to my channel. This is my last video of the night. I am done, guys. I'm going to get through my empties. I don't know how long it's been. Am I... I might be a couple days off, I think, from what I'm doing, but it's best to do them on a Sunday anyway, because then I know every Sunday. I don't know. But first, two jumbo cotton balls. I'm doing a lot of cotton balling. I hate these. They're all I can get at my Dollar General. They will sometimes have the super jumbos. That's what I like. These regular jumbos are too small. But, okay. So I finished a pack of 100 tea lights from Home Lights and I opened a new pack. And so, yeah. So I got that opened. Today, oh heck, I gotta get up there and maybe get something. Hold on, hold that thought. Let me grab something. Okay, all right, I had I had my empties up at my computer because I was going to take them out of the spreadsheet and I didn't and I left them. So, okay, we'll talk about today. Today I had a few pieces of Fear the Walking Dead. Now, this is a custom that I made with Broadway Wax. Yellow cake, raspberry jam, zucchini bread, and strawberry jam. Okay, beautiful on cold. I will say... I do think Broadway Wax's Raspberry Jam leans floral, but it's still a beautiful scent, and mixed with this bakery, this is wonderful. Um, so I had a few pieces left. So I took this and I mixed it with what I had left of zucchini cake from Sea Sugar. This was freaking amazing. My open concept was blowing up. Brad said it was way too strong. I didn't even turn on all my warmers. I waited till um, about five hours later and, and it did mellow out at about four hours. So I turned the other two warmers, which were tea lights on then, but for a normal person it's still way str going strong. I mean, you know, for us waxies who like things extra, extra strong, we might want a little bit more about now, but it's still going. This was so good. I like this much better today than I did the first time I melted it. It was much stronger today, as was the zucchini cake. I don't know, why is that? You know, I don't know if when I melted it the first time, did I have the air going? You know, I don't know. But anyway, open concept, excellent. Now, here in my office, I wanted to kind of continue that theme, right? So I did a zucchini bread, raspberry jelly donut, sugar cookie royale in one warmer, and I did raspberry whip, zucchini bread, adipose in the other. Both very good. I like this one better, I think. It was excellent. I'm going to put those over there because I've got to take them out of the spreadsheet. Yesterday, in my open concept, I did, and actually I've done this one, okay, I've done this one multiple times. Sassy Girl Aroma Vanilla and Smoke. I had a whole brittle of this. I think I got this. I think I might have picked this up when I was at her store. This is Vanilla, Smoke, Sandalwood Leather, and Bourbon. Okay, I'm just going to say I get Marshmallow Fireside from this. I get the most beautiful, creamy, sweet Marshmallow Fireside from this. I don't get Bourbon. I don't get Leather. Maybe some smoke, obviously, from the Marshmallow Fireside. But, yeah, that's what I get. I mean, it doesn't say Marshmallow Fireside, but that's what it smells like. So, I've done this in my office by itself, and it was fantastic. But yesterday, I took what I had left of this, and I mixed it with Faro from Knowles Farm Scents. Now, Faro is jasmine, tonka bean, patchouli, sandalwood, leather, and musk and amber to me this is bath and body works flannel i love bath and body works flannel so i took i think i had four 
think there's usually five pieces in one of his breakaway bars. I think I had four left. I took this and what I had left of this, put it all through my open concept. It was very nice. So if you like flannel, but it's a little too much for you, because it can be. I mean, it flannel strong. It's really good mixed with marshmallow fireside. Really good, because that's what I get from this. So this was great. It was another good day. Good day, good day. I had lots of good days this week. Okay, um, I finished a custom that I had made with Kay's uh, scented melts, was Crackling Fire, Nag Champa, and Sugar Cookie Royale. This was amazing. This was exactly what I wanted at the time. It was Nag Champa heavy. A little of this goes a long way. If I were to make this again, and I have, I have another um custom with maybe nag marshmallow fireside no i have nag crackling birch and sugar cookie roll so i've got to try that if i did this again i think i would put a marshmallow fireside with it or a toasty malo i would cut the nag down a little because the nag was really really strong in this but it was amazing I and mean, it was so good if you like nag champa mix it with crackling fire Sugar Cookie Royale, a Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, yeah. This was a fantastic performer. Very strong. Um, okay. I tried a couple of um, Rainbow Melts coffee blends. Now, the first one I did was Buddy the Elf Diet plus Strong Coffee. So, it was Frosted Sugar Cookie, Sweet Marshmallow, and Maple Syrup plus strong coffee. This was a, I think it was a gingerbread man. This was excellent. Very, very good. Yeah, I would 100% get more of this. It was really good. That's all I can say. It was just a maple-y uh, coffee. Now this one, Caffeine Party, is creamy vanilla coffee and a big slice of birthday cake. Okay, birthday cake and vanilla coffee. At first, I was like, okay, this is just kind of vanilla. Oh my God, guys. I apologize. Holy smokes. Okay, so this was good, though. I did it here in my office. It would not fill up my open space. There's no way this would work in my open concept. I have another one of these. I think what I'm going to do is get, I have some trick tarts of just plain black coffee, roasted coffee, coffee house, something like that. Take that and mix with this because this is a really nice, really nice vanilla scent with a light coffee. I had it here in my office and I can smell it. I mean, it really performed great for what it was. I think it'll do great mixed with the stronger coffee. No complaints there. Um... Okay, let me see. Let's see what I got. I put in my car a caramel apple craze scent circle, and I put in my car, I put that on my rear view mirror, and under my passenger seat and my driver's seat, I did autumn road trip scent packs. My car's smelling amazing right now. It smells so good, you guys. So. You know, if you, I am a Scentsy consultant, so I can get stuff like this a little, little cheaper and I can use it as host rewards and things like that. So I know that, you know, these three things together, that's not a cheap way to keep your car smelling good, but it's working great. One day in my open concept, I did, let me find the other one from Scentsy. Fall feeling. And I usually, I don't have my book here. I don't know what the scent notes of fall feeling is, but it is one of the 10 new scents, I think, for fall. Is there some juniper in this, maybe? I don't know. Here's the deal. On cold, I was just kind of underwhelmed. 
warming. This was fantastic. It was a powerhouse. It went all day and probably could have went a little longer maybe, but I just didn't want to. This was really, really good. Um, not club worthy for me, but I might pick up a couple more. I don't think I have any more of this. Apple, this has something else in it though. Why am I thinking like juniper sprigs or, I don't know. Um, yeah, like I said, on cold, yeah, this was an eh, right? But it was really good. Yeah. Another day in my open concept, I did from May to Melt, Mahogany Teakwood. Now, Mahogany Teakwood is a Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, okay, so I did, oh, Jesus, this is so freaking strong. This clamshell is from October of 2021, so two years old. One clamshell in my whole open concept, and I did burn off and on for two days. This went two whole days. And off and on, I burned a mahogany teakwood candle from Bath & Body. This could have went a third day and possibly a fourth day. I would not doubt. I would not doubt it would have went four days. But I was just done with it and over it. Fantastic. Fantastic. This was so good. This was worth any kind of amount of money. I got this in a D stash because I wasn't doing vendor wax. I was just starting in 21. I guess it was. Is that right? Yeah, end of 21. But this came from a D stash, made to melt. Um, mahogany teakwood. Excellent. 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 Okay. So, I had from Summer, she sent me Lavender and Speckles Pinecones Beach Nights, which is roasted pine cones, vanilla birch, I love vanilla birch, and beach nights. And I had three of the little circle shapes that Lavender and Speckles do. So I cut those all in half. I did, I had a sample of roasted pine cones from Kay's. And I had Beach Night Vibes from Ebony and Ivory Wax. So I did all of this in my open concept. Plus I had Warm and Welcome from Goose Creek. This is Beach Nights, guys. So if you see this, it's Beach Nights Candle. It's what it is. I put this in my crock. Amazing, beautiful, wonderful day. It was just, it was beautiful. Now I will say, um, these two beach nights, very similar. This beach nights from Ebony and Ivory is different. I put this in the little bathroom off my kitchen. I usually try to do all the same because that door is always open. And this one's different. I get a lot more of a, I guess you would say it's the, the s'mores note. I get a chocolate note in this Beach Nights. This performed really well in there. I could smell this every time I walked into that bathroom. And um, it was different, but it was close enough that it was okay. But it's different. This is not Beach Nights, um, like Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. There's something different about it. But like I said, I get a little bit more of, of that cocoa note or chocolate note. That's just me. Okay, in my bedroom, I did, huh, I did not have that in there. I'm going to have to use the rest of that. Where's it at? Okay, so I had two cubes of Be My Honey from Scentsy. This is pineapple ring, sweet honey, and jasmine. It's one of those honey scents. Um, I have found that I'm not in love with honey scents. I will say I do like this one better than Buzzworthy. But I had two cubes of this, and so I mixed it with four cubes of boho in my bathroom bedroom. This was good. It was nice. Boho is um, 
boho is it's just a really sweet floral not an old lady floral just a sweet maybe a little fruity i don't know the scent notes of this one could be a little fruit in there i don't know it's super pretty bar um i have one more of these bars i picked up in the round robin but this was actually this worked really good i have heard if you have any honey scents that honey go that it goes well with beach nights and that was my my plan to do with this, but I just really wanted to get rid of it and um, get it out of my, you know, out of my melting basket in my bedroom. Uh, oh, I took out this 3D scent circle from Scentsy. This was Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. This did good in my car. I've heard the 3D scent circles are way better, and they are. They should just get rid of regular scent circles and go straight to those. I don't see the point. Um, did some coffees in the kitchen from Sassy Girl Aroma. Fresh brewed coffee, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. This was excellent. Yeah, I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to finish this. I'm not real sure why I threw this in my empties and just didn't finish it out. But I might even finish it tomorrow. Excellent, excellent coffee. I love Sassy Girls coffee. All right, guys. Here we go with all this damn burning mitten wax. Okay. Let me think. Have notes. Notes, notes, notes. All right. Let's, okay, let's do this one first. Let's see what my note says. That will probably help. Did not really go... Two days, very light day two. Okay, so I did snow cream and candy canes, which is frosty and crystal. I did this in my bedroom. Now I have had good luck with the Bernie Mittens minty scents and a lot of their tree scents. So I do want to say that they do perform well. And all of my stuff is a year old. It's over a year old. I got it all on the clearance. So I want to put that all out there. So I did this in my bedroom. Um, it was very light on day two, but day one, it was fine. This is just a, a candy cane with, it says snow cream. And I'm wondering if that is kind of like that lush dupe. Kind of smells a little spa-like. So I think it might be. I think I have one more of these. So I'll use that up maybe, or I, I'm thinking about giving all this stuff to my mom. Um, but like I said, I haven't, their, their minty scents, peppermints seem to be performing well. Okay, then I have the Bernie Mitten Humble Bumble. This is Bumbleberry and Fresh Sparkling Snow. Okay, I don't know what Bumbleberry is. It's kind of to me like a it's not quite a cranberry maybe like a huckleberry and it had that um it had that kind of well i don't want to say snow kind of like that cold air note not really mint just a cold air note i did both of these i guess I don't know why I would have done both of these, but I remember, I remember really liking that berry note in this. This was fine. This performed well, not something I'd have to have, but I did like that bumbleberry note and it was just like, um, you know, bumbleberry in the, in the cold air, in the, in the snow. It was, it was good. It really was. That one was good. Oh, okay. I don't know. I love, love, love the Open Plains collection. Love it. It's fantastic. I did Under the Oak Tree. I did this in my bedroom. Now, this is the Aged Woods Worn Leather and Crisp Apple. This went two days in my bedroom. So good. And I didn't even do the whole thing. I This has been, a, I used it a couple times. So, probably four and four is what I'm guessing that I did. Yeah. Probably four cubes at a time. It is so good. I don't know if I stuck this in my club. I had it in my club. And then I ended up skipping my December club. 
I don't know, but if I see this again, I'll pick up a couple bars. Man, is it good. All of them from that collection I think is so good. And the leather is not, not overpowering at all. I mean, oh, it's just, a, it's a great collection. Okay. Okay, what did I use with this? So I have vanilla pound cake, butter, sour cream, vanilla beans, vanilla extract, vanilla bourbon, and powdered sugar. Okay. All right, let me find the one that goes with this. I mixed this vanilla pound cake with Christmas evergreen. This is Mutsu apple, pineapple rhubarb, Siberian evergreen, white Canadian fir, sage clary, forest moss, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So I like trees with bakery. This tree wasn't bad. I, I like this. It performed well. I did not like this vanilla pound cake. It basically was, it was, it, I didn't like it. it had an off-putting note to me. It wasn't super strong. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, but it was, it was just waxy to me. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't vanilla like I like. So the vanilla, no, would not be a repurchase. Christmas Evergreen didn't do too bad. Yeah, it was just a, you know, a nice tree note. I don't know how much I got. It's, it, I don't know. I just, I just pretty much get the tree note. So, okay, let's see. Let's see. This one's got a piece of paper in it. I smell Christmas. Green fir, pine needles, Christmas spices, apple, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, and berries. I mixed this with sugared zucchini streusel from Dessas. So once again, went with the, the tree and the bakery, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, this was pretty good. This zucchini streusel is a really nice zucchini streusel. I had had a whole loaf of this. And um, I've just been using it off and on as a mixer. Like I said, I've had good luck with the tree and the, the peppermint from the Bernie Mitten. There's only been one tree that I did not like. I have one cube left of it I've been putting in the back bathroom. I gotta find some bakery to go with it since I've used up all of this sugar zucchini streusel. I know this is a really popular one. It's zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and cinnamon streusel crumble. And it is. It's just a, I think the cinnamon streusel crumble in this is um, the star. Um, okay, this was good. Okay, between the sheets, library and cotton flannel sheets from the burning mitten i did three cubes of this in my bedroom it smells like i don't know how much i got the library note which what's oh, asleep um is i was assuming it was going to be like a book's note basically i got the cotton flannel sheets i like cotton i like linen scents this performed well in my bedroom. I did it two separate days, three and three. Um, yeah, it performed really good. I have to say that. Um, oh, what did I do? Okay, Witch's Wart, uh, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Candy Corn and Coffee from K's. This is excellent. I did this in my open concept with something one day. What was it? Of all these things, I have to take better damn notes, right? Did I mix it with vanilla and smoke? I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. You guys don't care. This is fantastic. I love Kay's pumpkin pecan waffles. I think she has a great pumpkin pecan waffles. And it was heavy on the pumpkin pecan waffles. I didn't get tons of coffee, but enough. It was, this is nice, performs well. I will definitely repurchase that. Love that. 
And the last two, yeah. I didn't like either of these from the Burning Mitten. Uh, they just they just didn't perform. And the I can just tell the oils aren't. I like other oils better. We'll put it that way. So I did Elfew, which is eggnog, vanilla bean noel, and marshmallow fluff. I knew when I smelled this on cold that it was not gonna be an eggnog that I would love. So what I did is I mixed this throughout my open concept with nutmeg and spice, which is nutmeg, vanilla, pralines, and rum. On cold, I like this one better on cold than I did melting. I really didn't get much for the, from the two of these in my open concept. Um, neither of these would be a repurchase. Uh, you know, I'm... Here's the thing about the Burning Mitten. I, when I was first on her website, and I should have looked again, the clams were over $5. They were like five fifty or something like that. And everything I bought was on clearance. So it was $2 and change. Everything was half price. I was told that her clams are over $6 now. So... At the $5.50 and the $6 price, I won't be buying anymore. But if you don't mind that, the peppermint scents, some really good peppermint um, blends. And her tree scents have been pretty good too. What I found that I haven't liked is the eggnog. I'm not a fan of the eggnog. I'm not really a fan of the, like, I didn't like the nutmeg and spice and it seems like in my last empties there might have been a couple more that were scents like that that just weren't for me so I mean I encourage everybody to you know make their own decisions about things um, for me at that price point I won't be repurchasing so I do have quite a bit one two what do I have one two three four five six six and a half clamshells and a scent shot left I haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead and go through them or give them to my mom or what I'm going to do. I guess you'll find out if you see them in some upcoming empties. <laughs> okay, that was it, everyone. Thank you for stopping by and um, happy melting this week. Hope everyone has a good day at work. And I'm sure I'll be back this week with something. Have a good week. Bye.